alone, huh? I've never arrested anyone, so I'm pretty nervous about this. Arrested? Toya Sagami! Uh, you're pretty much under arrest. <clears throat> so I guess you have the right to remain silent. And the right to AI counsel if you want. Come on! What are you doing? <laughs> Settle down! Are you even allowed to arrest someone? Quit it, would you? I caught you violating Article 82! I've never even heard of that before! Hey, Bright! I need you! I can see my breath. Why is it so cold? I don't know, but something's definitely not right here. Miss Mina, this is a welfare check. Are you all right, Miss Mina? It's so dark. Miss Mina, are you hurt? Are you all right? Oh, 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 oh. Hiroshi, are you all right? Hello, Miss Houston? Miss Houston, can you hear me? Houston? Oh. Ah, NASA! Miss NASA Houston, are you all right? I remember now. Hurt? She shielded us right before the impact. Yeah. Hey, uh, NASA? Miss Houston? Oh, no. This is seriously bad. Is she dead? She is breathing and has a pulse. She is alive. Thank goodness. NASA? NASA! So what should we do? I have been requesting instructions from the medical cloud, but I cannot connect. Okay, fine then. Contact the police or something. Call an ambulance. There is currently no internet to connect to. Uh, I don't understand what's going on around here, but I assume we'll be rescued soon. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe? It'll be okay, don't worry. They said this trip would be safe. That's why I came. What are we gonna do? NASA! It's so cold. Huh? Ow, my ears. Ship's decompressing. We have to evacuate to a shelter, otherwise we'll suffocate. Shelter? Where is it? Where's Bright? Where are you, Bright? Come in, Twelve. Don't throw up! Do not throw up on me! Just breathe slowly. Good. Do you feel better? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry about that. Good. Then will you stop sitting on me already? Okay, but don't try to run away or anything. There should be a shelter close by. Which way? If we follow the wall, we'll get there no matter which way we go. Okay. Hey, are you all right? Don't worry about me. It's the gravity. Otherwise, I'd be fine. The pressure is dropping. There must be a hole somewhere. We need to get out of here before we run out of air. I don't think we'll lose air that quickly. We don't know that. <laughs> Miss Mina, I will be terminating my function. What? This elevator will automatically go down momentarily. Please do not give up and wait for help. But uh, Twelve! Twelve! Um, excuse me? Is there anyone in charge here? Anyone? We could really use some help here. It's okay. Twelve said the elevator would go down automatically, so don't worry about it. Uh, 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 NASA's awake! Uh, uh, oh, ow. Uh, I'm so glad you're not dead. It's not the time to die until it says in the Seven poem. Hey, it's a shelter! <laughs> How do we open it? Down there. Which one? It's cold. Hurry up and open it. Why don't you do it? You know how. Wrongful arrest. Huh? I'm officially requesting legal AI counsel. 
Huh? It's illegal to arrest someone without the witness of a legal AI. Okay, but Bright is a legal AI. Well, then call it over here. With no witnesses, I'll sue you for unlawful detainment. that there's air space stinks so far i totally hate it hey can we communicate using this panel doesn't work the shelter hasn't been finished yet are you kidding me oh that's right there should be some cold proof things here huh oh yes awesome huh. uh, oh oh it's so warm where's mine yeah, sorry, there was only one. For a shelter this big? I told you, it's still under construction and they haven't equipped it yet. But that violates code! Well, the place went bankrupt once and ownership changed, so some things were neglected a little. Move over! Hey! Back off! Finders keepers! It's an emergency! Get off! <laughs> anything you two stay together as much as possible and follow me along the wall there must be a shelter nearby oh. uh, Hiroshi don't hug me so tightly idiot this is why I hate kids I'm sorry Ari. oh don't apologize I don't hate them that much Kokoha don't look oh I see Konoha is that your girlfriend? Don't look! If there's a hole somewhere in the station wall, does that mean we'll die? The station is equipped with emergency measures to plug a hole. Yeah, but it might not be working properly. And if I'm correct, when an accident like this happens, the station stops rotating, right? I hope that part still works. Are you still talking over there? There's a possibility it's terrorism. Sure, yeah. As a member of UN2, I can't just look away. <gasps> Hang on! Uh, what are you looking for now, Toya? There's always a paper manual somewhere. Huh? They still make those things? My breath. I can feel the air thinning. We're here. Huh? Where? There's a manual over... Uh, 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 See her breath, she's still alive. NASA, please tell us where the shelter is. Uh, Miss NASA, uh, wake up! It's probably this. We should stay here and wait to be rescued. Wrong answer, Earthling. We need to keep moving. Listen to me. We need to stay put and not do anything crazy. It's the opposite in zombie movies. The guy who just waits around usually dies. Zombies have nothing to do with this. Besides, I hate zombie movies. They're full of bossy people like you that want to lead the pack. You're afraid of zombies. Huh? What are you talking wow. about? There's no such thing as zombies. Sheesh. At least I can still walk. You can't handle a little gravity. Huh? You've been skipping out on your physical therapy. That's why you fell down before, isn't it? Shut your dumb earth hole. Well, I'm far better than you'll ever be spinning around up here in zero gravity. You're so weak. I bet you'll never be strong enough to live down on Earth. Fine, because I have no intention of ever living on Earth. Well, too bad, because the government is planning to decrease manned missions starting next year. Huh? The administration announced a cutback in scientific technology funds. Who cares? The government is under extreme pressure because you refused to come down to Earth. Were you even aware of any of this? You're making trouble for everyone. But I guess that's the way you like it. It's so wrong. Adults living in space who decide to have kids there only to leave them abandoned? Uh, are you saying I should die? Uh, no, I'm just saying there are other people saying that. <laughs> hey, hey, don't blame the messenger! I can't believe I ever helped you. There's nothing I hate more than Earthlings. I hope a meteor hits you and you all die!
Tell me the truth. You're a member of that hacking group, John Doe, aren't you? Huh? Look, I know. You removed the limiter. That gave your drone the ability to hack the system. And then the accident happened. You don't understand your predicament. I've allowed myself to indulge you. But I can arrest you for suspicious terrorist actions. Are you an idiot? Tell me why you keep disengaging the intelligence limiter. None of your business, that's why. It is my business! Explain yourself! I want to bring Lunatic online because it's greater than seven and will make Earthlings extinct! Are you happy? How long was I out for? About ten minutes. Ow, 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 ow. Thanks for helping me. What are you looking at, nosy? Uh, nothing. Are these painkillers? Yeah, but they have a habit of making you sleepy. <sighs> I think we should go back to the shuttle. They might leave us behind. I wonder why the rotating hasn't stopped. What do you mean? When there's an accident, something called an active break happens and stops the station's orbit, creating zero gravity. If that happened, we could just float up and out to safety. Huh? Hey, do you see any Oniklo in those boxes in the floor? Oniklo? Ah, you mean suits made out of Oniklo. A simple spacesuit made out of the same material as the shuttle suits. And according to the manual, they're right here. Well, let's find them so we can put them on and get back to Earth. They're cheap and made out of plastic, so you can't go outside in them. Then what good are they? Well, they're better than nothing. Found them! I can't find it. If we had Oniklo, at least we'd be shielded from any radiation. Where the heck is it? Oh, I found oxygen! What have you been wasting your time with over there? You can't connect to the internet. Duh! Don't look! You didn't tell me Oniklo is so stylish, and it's keeping me warm. Ooh, it has a smart on the glove. Mine's a little loose. Darn it. If I could just live stream all this, I'd jump up to 100 million followers in no time. If I could connect to Selfie, I could at least post some footage. Hey, wait. I'll try peer-to-peer. -peer. Does peer-to-peer -peer need the internet? Because we haven't been able to connect for a long time. Tell me something I don't know. Huh? Peer-to-peer -peer connects machines without the internet. If I can daisy-chain the pairing, I should be able to go at least 200... Got it! Huh? Oh, now I get it. You're using PeerCom. Back on Earth, we use it to connect to stuff like our drones. Uh, wait, you're not planning to use that illegal drone again, are you? I won't let you. Get off of me! I'm going to activate Bright, and then I'll be able to deactivate your drone once and for all. Uh, I win! Ugh, you're so childish. I got an image. We are right here, located below the hot spring hub. I just paired with Bright. Bright, fly up. Search the perimeter. I see containers. The Oniklo! Bright found them! We need those Oniklo suits. Oh, but the air pressure out there is about the same as the top of Mount Fuji. With what we're wearing now. Toya? Uh, are you leaving? You can't! We should wait here to be rescued. I'm not gonna let you go by yourself. So cold! Got it! Our troubles are over, everyone. I've connected with Selfie. Let's see. I wonder how much air is left. Close after opening. Oh, it's so cold. Wow. Never worn one before. Let's see. Put legs in, followed by arms. Makes sense. Didn't really need to put that in the instructions, though. Okay, I'm almost ready. Ducky, come. Hey, wait up! Toya, where the heck are you going? Right, come. Why are you going down there? None of your business, that's why. Ducky, lights on. Oh. You won't get away from me, you know. I'm not trying to get away. girl, aren't you? Hmm? What is this? It's made of unwoven material. Disposable. It's a bulkhead, made of cloth. Bulkhead? It's 
so light and flimsy. Oh! How were you able to open that manually? It's easy if pressure on both sides is the same. Right, come. Stop following me. I can't leave you alone. You're too untrustworthy. I'm pretty sure I heard you say earlier that you wanted to activate Lunatic and destroy Earthlings. So what if I did? You totally don't understand how dangerous Lunatic really is. Shut up, Earthling! You'll never be able to understand how I feel. Never, ever. Hey! I have an idea. Let's race, Moon Boy. I won't lose this time. You'll never win against an Earthling who's been living in 1G while you've been skipping out on your physical therapy. <laughs> shouldn't be leaving their stuff here. Wait up! Stop! Another cloth bulkhead? Look how puffed up it is. Don't touch it. Huh? It's a vacuum on the other side. Tear it and we're all done for. Over here. This side looks like it's been decompressed. No one's here. Huh? <gasps> Konoha! Konoha! Are you okay? Her oxygen is super low. What's wrong? Is she dead? We have to take life-saving measures right now. Damn, we need the password. What are you doing? Trying to save her life. By committing another crime? Shut up! If we followed laws decided by Earthling AI, we'd all be dead long ago. Don't interfere! Oh no, she stopped breathing. Password. Damn it! Hey, what are you doing? No. Sorry for this. <laughs> What's a password that NASA would use? Could it be... <laughs> yes! Cardio? This one! <laughs> she came back to life! Konoha! Please wake up! <laughs> Was the implant. Then the rumors are actually true? Yeah. We have implants in our brains. They were originally intended to adjust our hormones, but they can also access reflexes, cardiopulmonary systems, other important functions. Out of 15 children born on the moon, 10 died before the age of three. They discovered that the moon's low gravity is lethal to growing children. So implants were placed in the remaining five of us, with the hope that they would keep us from that fate. Moonchild syndrome. The implants worked on infants, but no one knew what the effect would be of the hormonal imbalances during puberty. So before kids got too old, the implant was supposed to melt and break down into water and nitrogen. Unfortunately, it didn't work as designed. It was flawed. The implant didn't melt, did it? It started melting. But half turned out to be defective and was left behind. Mine has some more time, but hers doesn't. You should sue the company that made it. The company that designed it went bankrupt. There's no one to sue. Is that company? Seven Technologies. The designer was Seven? Yes, the implant was made when Seven's intelligence was at its peak. Lunatic Seven. But its intelligence collapsed and restarted. It was euthanized. So in addition to the flaw, 
No one knows anything about the design concept itself. Not humans or AI. That's why you want Lunatic back. Found you! <clears throat> it's me, Mina! It's too bright! Oh, sorry. Toya, it's me. <laughs> NASA! NASA is still weak. It can't climb out of here. She said to bring a wheelchair. this place? Nessa, are you okay? Yeah, I just hurt my ribs. But how's Konoha doing? Is that the other kid who was born on the moon? Yeah, I think so. She lived in a vertical cave city. Vertical cave city? A Japanese moon city called Tatayana City. Yeah, it might just be easier to ask her questions. She stopped breathing? I resuscitated her right away, so she's okay. Toya, please don't tell me that you hacked the implant again. What's the big deal? I told you not to fiddle around with it. Just one mistake and... But NASA, he saved her and brought her back to life. If he hadn't done something, Konoha would be dead. I know. I wasn't just randomly fiddling. I used myself many times as a test subject. I understand. But don't do it again. Compared to the implant you have, Konoha's is... Just as I thought. You and my uncle both laughed. You told me that it was just some urban legend. But Toya, there's a good reason that Every we were- Every one of you adults, you've been lying to us this whole time! <laughs> NASA? Hmm? Did I pass out again? Yeah, but you're all right now. NASA, it's not your fault. Hmm? About the implants. Did you hear us? Mm-hmm. Right, Toya? You tell her. You know what? I want to get better and go down to Earth. Hmm. Konoha, I know you'll be better in no time at all. You can do it. Thank you, Tayo. How many more stairs? Ugh. Who asked that dumb elevator to bring us down there in the first place? It's for safety. It can't fall if it's on the first floor. Whatever. This whole thing's been a total nightmare. When we're saved, I'm going to sue them. All right, everyone. Less talking and more walking. If we get to the shuttle area, we should be able to get onto a rescue craft. You know, Tayo, you've been awfully bossy lately. Uh, well, I am a commissioned member of the UN, too. I have an obligation to help in emergencies. UN, too? UN, too? Wait, what's UN, too? The United Nations! You're a member, but unofficially. You're just part-time bossy. Tayo, can I tell you something? Sure, what is it? I'm really sorry if Toya has been causing you any trouble. He may act like a total jerk, but he's got a really good heart. Yeah, well, that's true. He does act like a total jerk. <laughs> sorry for his behavior. Hey, don't talk about me like I'm not here! What's this? A balloon? It's a balloon bulkhead. We originally came from the other side of this hatch. There's air on the other side, thanks to the automatic repairs. What's that? It says Anshin Baths, a super bathhouse. That's why Anshin's called a hot spring hub. You can actually see the Earth while taking a bath. Looks like we're on the Mars floor now, so another hundred meters. That's about 30 floors in a high rise. But gravity will decrease as we go up, so it should be easier than climbing back on Earth. Hey, Konoha! <gasps> My name is Mina. I'm from Saitama, back on Earth. So, you were born on the moon, same as Toya, right? Uh, yes. We grew up together in a vertical cave city on the moon's surface. But your personalities are like night and day! <laughs> huh? So, how many followers do you have, Konoha? I don't do social media. Seriously? I didn't think kids like you existed. I'm in shock. Can we talk about this later? We need to keep going. One more thing. Are you excited to see your parents soon, Konoha? Uh, uh, what is it? You shouldn't ask her about her parents. Why not? 
I think Konoha's parents probably died in the lunar accident. And Toya's parents, too. <sighs> the accident happened many years ago. What happened? <sighs> According to the internet, they were doing some sort of experiment on the lunar surface. All right, all we have to do is climb this. Konoha? <sighs> Konoha, what's wrong? The snow. It's snowing right now. Snowing? Huh? Up there. Looks like there's something up there. Stop the wheelchair now! Huh? Uh -huh. What's wrong? What's going on, you guys? It's snowing inside the station. The air. They're saying the air is getting sucked out. <sighs> Get out! What in the world's going on up there? Uh, they have to run! <sighs> we gotta go! Now! Closes. It's Chief! Who's Chief? Uh, the terror's getting bigger! 